is Mikhail with Hustle System, where art meets commerce. In this video, I'm going to show you how to defeat procrastination once and for all. Well, that's a bold statement. See, I used to procrastinate a lot. I used to have a task that's sitting there. I know I got to do it. You know that the ideal version of yourself is somebody who has done it and is doing the tasks, but yet, you can't seem to get yourself to do it. Whether that's a diet, whether that's a budget plan, whether that's starting that business that you should have started so long ago, somehow you seem to get everything else done, but that one thing doesn't seem to get done. So let's look at why you procrastinate. There's really two reasons. Number one is you are afraid. You are subconsciously afraid of doing that thing. Now, here's what's interesting thing about this fear is you might say, I'm not afraid. I'm just lazy and you'd be right, but bear with me here for a minute. So the subconscious fear that's attached to the thing is not necessarily always attached to your failure to do that thing. Let's say it's a business and you would say, well, I'm afraid because that business might fail. And there's a lot of truth to that, but there's another reason you are afraid that you'll take the action and you'll succeed and that you have to take more actions. And that brings us to the second reason why people procrastinate and that is uncertainty. Because once you've taken that first action that you know you need to take, there's a lot of other actions after it that you don't know about yet, right? The unknown unknowns, if you will. And that freaks us out. Our brain is very good at processing certain things, but when it comes to things we don't know yet, it tends to freak out. It's a primal instinct. Now, there's a great concept on how to overcome both the fear and the unknown. And I'm going to reference this. It's called Eat That Frog. You might have read this book. It's called Take That Big Audacious Goal That You Have and Get Rid of Everything Else. Get rid of everything. No email, no phone calls, no video games, no TV shows, no Instagram. Yeah, and then sit there and stare at it and realize that everything else you want, you can't do anything until you solve it. I think of this as this giant kind of toad creature that comes into my house and it's like, it's like a bouncer at the club, right? It's like, I'm not letting you go anywhere until you go through me. And it kind of freaks you out. You kind of go, shit. Well, and you start to make up excuses, right? Like, oh, well, no, it's okay. I'll do you later. And you have to trick your mind to create an aggressive entity across the spectrum of the things that you actually need to get done. You need to attach a certain aggressiveness to them that makes it clear to your subconscious that if you do not do these specific things, you will die. Or worse, you will live a life of mediocrity, of discontent, of never quite having achieved those goals that you wanted to achieve. You need to attach a very real and very strong pain to that. And the concept of eat that frog is, well, you've got this big frog and you got to eat the frog. And every part of you just wants to not eat the frog. But the problem is that big audacious goal, that's the purpose of your life. We talked about purpose earlier. And for that, reference this video, right? The hidden driver to success. And to truly pursue that purpose, it's easy to say, oh, I'm pursuing that purpose. But if the actions don't follow, that means you're not really doing it. If you're not clearing the clutter of all the other millions of things that you could be doing and putting that big audacious goal first, you're not truly pursuing it. And when it comes to the fear, that fear of taking that first action, remember the fear is always worse than the pain. I say it again. The fear is always worse than the pain. When you have to lace up your gloves and go boxing, right? You get a little bit of jitters. You might get knocked out, but is it ever really that bad? When it comes to jumping in a cold pool or a cold lake, is it really that bad? When it comes to that new job, when it comes to taking that risk, our mind is very good at protecting itself from danger. And that leads to a life of comfort, of complacency, and of being stuck in the middle. So for this video, I urge you, overcome your procrastination, 
Take that fear, stare it down and conquer it. Embrace the chaos that often comes with uncertainty and put that big audacious goal right in front of you, dead in center and knock it out with every little inch of purpose that you have in your body. That is how you defeat procrastination once and for all. I'm excited for you as the next step that you take will be made with intent. It'll be made with purpose. It'll be made with the truest essence of who you are as a human in mind. If you like this video, please like and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get a notification when I upload more. This is Mikhail with Hustle System, where art meets commerce. And let's win together.